we're just leaving Rio de Janeiro now. We're gonna be heading on a road trip, a family road trip. Got Carol's family right there, Luis Vito, her brother, and a mother. Uh, hello. hello. We're all gonna speak English for a week. Yes. And we've also got Joey, the star of the video. <laughs> <laughs> he looks camera shy. Joey. <laughs> yeah, so we're going on like a 11 day road trip. We got a rental car and was it about $40 a day? Yeah, $40 and we think it's a bit more expensive because it's a holiday this week. So I think usually you'll be able to get it cheaper, but yeah, that's what we're going to be paying. And yeah, me and Carol have never been to Mina, so it's going to be pretty cool to check it out. Completely different to Rio. And it's a bit of a drive, it's about 4 hours and 45 minutes from Rio, so yeah, it's going to take a while. So we're now in the state of Minas Gerais and the city that we've come to is called Chiradenches and we've just arrived at the place that we've rented out this big house here. So we got this for $70 on Airbnb and I think it's just the bottom floor but it looks really big. Got a place to park our car here and yeah a little garden for Joey to play in. So it's way bigger than what we were expecting. So this is for four people. Where's Joe going? <laughs> yeah, so this is for the four of us, but you got a huge dining table. Easily more space than, than you need for four people. Got a huge sofa as well. Tiny TV. And then through here is another dining table. And yeah, the kitchen, really big, spacious kitchen. Loads of different plates glasses yeah got absolutely everything here and then we get two bedrooms so I think me and Carol are staying in this one right here really nice looking bedroom so it's like a old building but yeah with um, all modern appliances and stuff and this will be our bathroom that we use so another modern looking bathroom awesome for $70 for people So we've now come to the old historic center. That's what this place is famous for, the old historic Portuguese city. So we just parked the car here, but it turns out we're at an awesome viewpoint. Got a nice old Portuguese style church there. And from here, you can see the entire city. So you can already see like the rooftops, Portuguese style. Got a beautiful church over there as well. So yeah, we're probably gonna head down here and check out all this area. So the original village in this place was founded in 1702 and then it became a city in 1718. So the majority of these buildings are uh, from the 1700s. People also go around in these horse carts here. Loads of them. So this right here is a water fountain called Chafaris San Jose and it's from 17. 
49 and it still works to this day. So from what I read it was built by the slaves at the time and it brings water from a kilometer away. But yeah, it's pretty cool that it's still running. Get a better look at the Portuguese style buildings. These two little houses here. A lot of them are being converted into stores, so like souvenir shops around the city. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's my first time in Minas and also my first time in Tiradentes, and yeah, it's impressive. I really like the historical center, and we haven't even seen everything yet. Yeah, I like how it's mixed in with all the nature, like yeah. a lot of places in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Super green. Yeah. And we went to that place in Rio once, that's also a old Portuguese town. Yeah, Paraty. Yeah, but so far this looks a bit nicer, yeah, this I think. Is, uh, bigger, so there, there are more things to see and more places to, to visit, more churches. So I, I, I think this one is better than Paraty. Yeah, we'll probably film there though, on this trip as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. So we're now at a famous street here. This is the street that you see in all the pictures because there is a old famous church at the top there called Igreja de Santo Antonio. Hey Carol, it must have took some effort to make all these roads. Yeah, and the, the rocks are so big. I think I guess we've never seen rocks like this. Usually they're like small, smaller ones, but this one? Yeah, like the, the old places in Portugal. I think there was more like small little cobbled roads, but look at the size of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely gigantic, that one as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they used the slaves, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a crazy amount of work. These big rocks here as well. And all the roads around here are like this, so it's just huge rocks everywhere. Made it to the top so boiling so dry here right now it's the winter as well but it's like over 30 degrees so yeah the winter in brazil is still pretty hardcore but that is one impressive looking colonial church so that was built in 1710 and it's the second oldest one in brazil that's made out of gold the other ones in another state called bahia apparently and here from the top get some fantastic views look at this so you can see the mountains surrounding this city. How hot is it, Carol? Oof, I'm dying. How is this winter? Yeah, it's crazy. It's more than 30 degrees, 31, I think. It's too hot. Yeah, too hot. So hopefully you can hear me. It costs seven reais to enter. The guy is playing the organ right now, up there. So that organ is from 1779. Apparently it's one of the oldest organs in the world.
So another good spot to stay if you're coming here is right in the city centre. So a lot of these colonial buildings are now uh, bed and breakfast places. So in Portuguese you call them posadas. Be really cool to stay in a place like this. Some beautiful plants here as well. Yeah, check how nice it looks on the the inside. So this is who the city is named after. This is Chiradentes. So Chiradentes means tooth remover because he was a dentist. That's a nickname. Born in 1746 until. 1792. So he was a revolutionary that was against the Portuguese monarchy at the time and they discovered his plot to overthrow the monarchy so they hung him and I think they chopped him up into pieces pretty gruesome and put the pieces of him for show for display in public areas to yeah to scare people from trying to overthrow the government and yeah he's kind of like a national hero now so even in rio we have like parks and stuff named after him chiradentes and yeah this city is named after him because he was born right close to here so yeah that's why they named it after him So we've now come to an old railway station that they have here and an old train's supposed to pass soon so yeah we thought it'd be good to check it out. Got some cute little ponies at this place. I haven't seen many ponies before. <laughs> Alright here it comes. Looks like a full train. Yeah, yeah, it's a holiday here in Brazil, so there are many people traveling and many people here in Tiradentes. Yeah, and I don't think we can get on the train because there's no, no tickets, right? No, I tried right? to buy the, a ticket yesterday, but it was all already booked, so we can't go. Yeah, I think because of COVID, the, there's less people allowed on the train. And as you can see, it's already packed anyway. So we just came to a place called Comida Kilo, which is really popular in Brazil. You basically get all the food you want and then they'll weigh it. And each restaurant has a fixed price per kilo and then yeah, you'll just see how much it costs. Depends how much you put on your plate. It's like a, a big buffet really. Yeah, yeah, you pay for what you eat. Yeah, so throughout Brazil you have this, it's super common. We really like it. Because you get a huge selection of food as well. So loads of different food. They have barbecue over there as well. I'll show you some. Yeah, so look at all this variety of food. They have a bit of everything here. All the hot pots. So this is what me and Carol got. We got some fried cassava here. What's that? A carrot, like mashed up carrot? No, um, 
Calabasa. Oh, it's calabasa pumpkin. Pumpkin, yeah. What about this? What's that? Uh, Angu is made from, I don't know what it's made from, but it's a Brazilian thing and it's uh, something from Minas Gerais. Like What's famous. it called? Angu. Angu. Yeah, I forgot how. And is that a cheese ball? Cheese ball, fish, cassava, and vegetables. Yeah, so Carol's was 30 reais, 91. I just got some veggies, pretty much the same as Carol's. I just got some broccolis though, and the rice and beans as usual. And that was 35.70. But then I also got a plate of beef, which is called uh, picanha in Brazil, from the barbecue. And that was an extra 15.50. So that's the price there. So at the moment, I've decided to return to eating red meat again after about five years because I did some medical exams and I found out that I'm allergic to wheat, anything with wheat in it. And I'm also lactose intolerant. And besides that, I already have my other allergies to like soy and nuts, shellfish, eggs. So yeah, now that I'm trying to avoid wheat and uh, milk-based products as well, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to eating meat since I'm okay eating meat. Cheers! So we've just driven about 50 minutes more or less to a waterfall, it's called Cachoeira São José but we think it might be a bit dry right now, here's the, the dry season in the winter So I think even this part usually is supposed to have water but right now it doesn't look like it has anything at all Yeah this place is completely dried up so Usually the water would be coming down here. Some water down there, but definitely don't want to swim in that water that's been still for yeah, months, for maybe. Ages. Oh, it'd probably be pretty cool as well, but that's pretty big. Yeah. Can actually see bits of water coming down, but yeah, it's nothing. out right now and now we're back in the historic center we're just walking around it's a very lively place especially because it's the holiday week so there's a lot of a lot of things going on a lot of music playing and we've also got to eat so we're probably gonna have dinner and then just walk around and see what there is there. So where are we at now? Uh, a store where what they sell a lot of chocolates, a lot of everything. <laughs> you gonna buy everything. some chocolate? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you are feeling very hungry. Looking at all these sweets. They also have some interesting alcohol drinks here. Pretty strong too, 17%. So that's a chocolate one. Maracuja, which I think is a passion fruit. Pistache, honey. Mint chocolate alcohol. Banana as well. Banana alcohol drink. So I got this doce de leite, which is a very famous sweet from Brazil and especially from Minas, I think it's from Minas. And also the, this chocolate with uh, strawberries. Oh, that looks tasty. And how, how much was all that? Uh, 16 reais. 16? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, so this here is like the main square in Chiradentes. So you have like people with the food stalls and stuff. And it's pretty cool because there's like a bar here and people just sit around the street drinking, chilling out. Very common in Brazil. 
So even in the square as well, people are just drinking, hanging out. The Brazilian way. Dancing. So it's the next morning now. We're just packing up to head out here from Chiradentes. And we got another big car ride ahead of us. I think it's gonna be another four and a half hour car ride. And we're gonna be heading to another place here in the same state called Capitolio, which I think is pretty much the biggest tourist attraction here. It's supposed to be amazing. So yeah, we're heading there and we're gonna be spending a few days there. So yeah, the next videos are gonna be coming from that place. If you like this video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.